allele. An allele is a variant form of a given gene. Sometimes, the presence of different alleles of the same gene can result in different observable phenotypic traits, such as different pigmentation. A notable example of this trait of color variation is Gregor Mendel's discovery that the white and purple flower colors in pea plants were the result of pure line traits which could be used as a control for future experiments. However, most genetic variations result in little or no observable variation. Most multicellular organisms have two sets of chromosomes, that is, they are diploid. In this case the chromosomes can be paired, each pair is made up of two chromosomes of the same type, known as homologous chromosomes. If both alleles in a gene, or locus, on the homologous chromosomes are the same, they in the organism are homozygous with respect to that gene, or locus. If the alleles are different, they in the organism are heterozygous with respect to that gene. The word allele is a short form of allelomorph, other form, a word coined by British geneticists William Bateson and Edith Rebecca Saunders, which was used in the early days of genetics to describe variant forms of a gene detected as different phenotypes. It derives from the Greek prefix lambda lambda eta lambda omicron, allelo, meaning mutual, reciprocal, or each other, which itself is related to the Greek adjective lambda lambda omicron sigma, alas, cognate with Latin alias, meaning other. In many cases, genotypic interactions between the two alleles at a locus can be described as dominant or recessive, according to which of the two homozygous phenotypes the heterozygote most resembles. Where the heterozygote is indistinguishable from one of the homozygotes, the allele expressed as the one thalides to the dominant phenotype, and the other allele is said to be recessive. The degree and pattern of dominance varies among loci. This type of interaction was first formally described by Gregor Mendel. However, Many traits defy this simple categorization and the phenotypes are modeled by codominance and polygenic inheritance. The term wild-type allele is sometimes used to describe an allele that is thought to contribute to the typical phenotypic character as seen in wild populations of organisms, such as fruit flies, Drosophila melanogaster. Such a wild-type allele was historically regarded as leading to a dominant, overpowering always expressed, common, and normal phenotype in contrast to mutant alleles that lead to recessive, rare, and frequently deleterious phenotypes. It was formerly thought that most individuals were homozygous for the wild-type allele at most gene loci, and that any alternative mutant allele was found in homozygous form in a small minority of affected individuals, often as genetic diseases, and more frequently in heterozygous form in carriers for the mutant allele. It is now appreciated that most or all gene loci are highly polymorphic, with multiple alleles, whose frequencies vary from population to population, and that a great deal of genetic variation is hidden in the form of alleles that do not produce obvious phenotypic differences. A population or species of organisms typically includes multiple alleles at each locus among various individuals. Allelic variation at a locus is measurable as number of alleles, polymorphism, present, or the proportion of heterozygotes in the population. A null allele is a gene variant that lacks the gene's normal function because it either is not expressed, or the expressed protein is inactive. For example, at the gene locus for the ABO blood type carbohydrate antigens in humans, classical genetics recognizes three alleles, I, I, and I, which determine compatibility of blood transfusions. Any individual has one of six possible genotypes, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2 which produce one of four possible phenotypes, type A, produced by two homozygous and two heterozygous genotypes, type B, produced by two homozygous and two heterozygous genotypes, type AB produced by two heterozygous genotype, and type O produced by two homozygous genotype. It is now known that each of the A, B, and O alleles is actually a class of multiple alleles with different DNA sequences that produce proteins with identical properties. More than 70 alleles are known at the abolocus. Hence, an individual with type A blood may be a now heterozygote, an AA homozygote, or an AA heterozygote with two different alleles. The frequency of alleles in a diploid population can be used to predict the frequencies of the corresponding genotypes. See Hardy Weinberg principle. For a simple model, with two alleles, where P is the frequency of one allele and Q is the frequency of the alternative allele, which necessarily sum to unity. Then, P is the fraction of the population homozygous for the first allele, 2PQ is the fraction of heterozygotes, and Q is the fraction homozygous for the alternative allele. 
If the first allele is dominant to the second then the fraction of the population that will show the dominant phenotype is P plus 2 PQ, and the fraction with the recessive phenotype is Q. With three alleles, in the case of multiple alleles at a diploid locus, the number of possible genotypes, G, with the number of alleles, A, is given by the expression. A number of genetic disorders are caused when an individual inherits two recessive alleles for a single gene trait. Recessive genetic disorders include albinism, cystic fibrosis, galactosemia, phenylketonuria, PKU, and Tay-Sachs disease. Other disorders are also due to recessive alleles, but because the gene locus is located on the X chromosome, so that males have only one copy, that is, they are hemizygous, they are more frequent in males than in females. Examples include red green color blindness and fragile X syndrome. Other disorders, such as Huntington disease, occur when an individual inherits only one dominant allele. While heritable traits are typically studied in terms of genetic alleles, epigenetic marks such as DNA methylation can be inherited at specific genomic regions in certain species, a process termed transgenerational epigenetic inheritance. The term EP allele is used to distinguish these heritable marks from traditional alleles, which are defined by nucleotide sequence. A specific class of AP allele, the metastable AP alleles, has been discovered in mice and in humans which is characterized by stochastic, probabilistic, establishment of epigenetic state that can be mitotically inherited. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.